A massage parlor in Frederick County shut down, accused of prostitution and human trafficking. Jacqueline Matter joining us live tonight from the Westview Corner Shopping Center in Frederick with more. Hi, Jacqueline. Well, hey, Jim and Angie. So imagine you want to go get a massage. You're looking for one of the top spots in the area. And this place pops up, the Wellness Massage Center. It used to pop up as one of the best places here in the Frederick area. And that's exactly what happened for one woman here. But we're now learning from police that some of the customers that were coming here were getting far more than just massages. The lights are out and a stop work order is in place at the Wellness Massage Center in Frederick. That's after several complaints about suspicious activity at the massage parlor to the Frederick County Sheriff's Office. So what were some of the complaints that you all were getting in here? A solicitation for um, for money in return for sexual acts. Investigators with the county's human trafficking response team uncovering enough evidence to prove that was happening after executing a search and seizure warrant. I mean, it's in it's in plain view, but what goes on behind closed doors, you're never really going to know it. When you drive by, I'm with you. It looks like a legitimate business that conducts its, conducts itself appropriately. Lieutenant Chad Atkins telling Fox 5 the sheriff's office received numerous complaints over the past year, many of them similar to this review posted by a prior customer, Alexis Ansman. In it, she details the red flags she experienced while getting a massage at the wellness center. When he was putting the drape down to kind of get to the parts, you know, of my back, um, my underwear were pulled down um, further than I was expecting. It was very rough and just grabbing at all parts of my body. Um, at one point, I did ask if he could be more gentle because it was really firm, and he told me it was a good hurt. I was on my back, and he was pushing my knees up towards me, like in the fetal position almost, um, just telling me to relax. Ansman says she didn't report her experience to police, but did leave that Google review with the hope of warning others. I mean, I got home and cried because I was so uncomfortable by it. So to know that who knows what could have happened is definitely scary. While that stop work order has shut the business down for now, we did speak to a man who identified himself as the owner. The owner? He would not answer our questions, yes. but while we were there, we noticed at least once he seemed to turn someone away. Police do tell me that the suspects in this case are employees of this business. At this time, we still don't know exactly how many prostitution or human trafficking charges they are facing. That is because police say they are still trying to determine who may have been victims and who may have been taking part in these acts on their own free will. Jim, Angie, back to you.